So how did you like the uh, reaction from the uh, Sundance uh, next weekend here? Uh, it was great. Uh, you know, this was the first time we showed it to an audience, and uh, it, the reaction seemed great, and we got a lot of laughs. I was definitely counting all the laughs and uh, trying to see what jokes hit and what didn't, and uh, it seemed to play really well, so we're, we're, we were really excited about it. What, do, what, what joke do you think hit the um, best with the audience? Uh, actually, I think the joke that got the biggest laugh I can't repeat on television, uh, but it was one that we were a little bit worried about in terms of its sort of raciness, but that was the one that ended up, I think, getting the biggest laugh of the whole movie, so. Well, that's pretty uh, awesome. Now, um, where did you get the inspiration for this uh, type of project? Um, I, I've been making, uh, me, uh, myself and Brian Gaynor, the, one of the co-writers, uh, I've been making stuff with uh, Gavin McInnes, uh, the other co-writer and star of the movie for a long time. And we always wanted to find, we've been making short form things, and we, we've been trying to find something to do in a long form context. And the people at Fox Digital uh, came to us about uh, wanting to make something uh, with, with us and with Gavin and so we put the script together and they greenlit it and we made it. So it was a really easy and fast process uh, which is in contrast to how most kind of independent films go but we were very lucky. Um, and you know in terms of the story we all, uh, Brian and I knew Gavin's sort of voice so well uh, that we kind of, uh, it was easy for us to write for him. And so we kind of came up with an idea that we would be able to fit his sort of comedic persona into a narrative context. Now, was a lot of the uh, script actually improv, or did you guys actually stick to, stick to it? Um, it? It wasn't as improvised as, as maybe it feels. I mean, Gavin doesn't like memorizing his dialogue, but he did write the movie with us, so... You know, it was more like bullet points, and it was very structured, and, I, you know, we never said stuff word for word, but it was more or less how it was scripted. Um, so, like, all the ideas of, like, uh, all these, you know, uh, fart jokes or vagina jokes or drug jokes is what's, was all from Gavin then? No, I mean, uh, you know, the three of us wrote it together, for sure. I mean, it was a collaborative effort, but, uh, you know, we, always, we obviously wanted to set out to push the envelope, uh, in terms of taste and, you know, what it, you can laugh at. Uh, so, you know, it was, it was just, you know, it was a normal sort of th collaborative three-person writing process. Now, um, obviously for this movie, um, after watching it, you guys didn't pull any punches. Uh, why did you guys win all, practically all the way with this? Well, I guess we just thought that there was no other reason to do the movie other than that. I mean... It's not the story, the, the structure, the narrative structure isn't exactly reinventing the wheel. Uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty much a conventional buddy comedy, but where it becomes unique is our, uh, w us pushing the envelope in terms of taste and uh, kind of, yeah, in terms of taste and, and you know, what people are willing to accept. So, uh, for us, that was the only reason to do the movie. What was the uh, most difficult scene um, f um, for you to, to direct? Um, all of the fight stuff was hard. Uh, we had a great stunt coordinator, Manny Severo, but uh, you know we really pushed it to the uh, limit. And Gavin uh, broke uh, or cracked a rib and uh, cracked a vertebra vertebrae uh, doing stunts on set. Um, so that stuff was just hard just in terms of logistically. Uh, all the dialogue stuff and the comedy and all that was easy and fun and it was a really great experience. We just basically laughed all day together so it was pretty great. Now um, in terms of the cast, obviously uh, you worked with Gavin for quite some time. What about the rest of the cast? Uh, well, casting uh, the Brian character, who was played by Liam Aiken, was uh, really hard to try to find the right balance uh, uh, between, you know, uh, having him be funny but also a good actor and the way he looks, being like uh, able to be a nerd early on and sort of a cool guy later. And I had uh, uh, met with Liam about a different project that didn't end up happening, but. Uh, 
he, I just liked him and I was a big fan of his. So when this came along, uh, we sent it to him and he really liked it. I'm so glad he did it. Uh, Megan Nuringer, who plays Margo, Gav uh, Mark's wife, is another person that we've worked with. She comes sort of out of UCB in New York and we had worked with her in a bunch of sketches and, and all this stuff. So we had worked with her a bunch and we just think she's hilarious and awesome and so fun to work with. And uh, Nigel DeFries, uh, who plays Felix, is somebody that I went to college with. Uh, he was an actor and I was in film and he's just somebody that I think is funny and a good actor and so he was great. It was great for to get him in this. Do, do you personally have any kids? No, I'm 26, so I don't. So, Gavin, ha Gavin has three kids, though. So uh, so if you, you do someday um, have any kids, you probably wouldn't even let them watch this movie, huh? We'll see. <laughs> after, after a certain age, maybe, yeah. So uh, just a fun question. So how, do, how does one become a man anyways? Uh, I mean, I think the movie is... The sort of Brian's journey in the movie is very much uh, kind of how I feel about it, where uh, Gavin's character sort of has a lot of good advice, and but he also, about being cool and about being tough and stuff like that, but he also kind of goes too far in a lot of ways. And uh, so I think the movie kind of definitely shows my perspective of how to be a man. That's awesome. Um, and um, just, to, just to wrap things up, do you have any other projects um, for you personally that's coming up the woodwork? Uh, you know, there's a, a few things in the works, and uh, we'll see what happens. You know, uh, it's, it's not easy getting independent films made, so, but we're really happy with the success of this so far, and we hope uh, more good things come from it, and we'll see what happens from there. Okay, well, congratulations, and thank, for, right. th thank you for the interview. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, man. Thanks, Jeff.